title of this video is going to be a message of light and a time to darkness this is a, a, a letter I just wrote to one of the uh, sisters here on uh, YouTube um, I liked it a lot and I feel like reading it um, you know there's so much chaos going on in the world now that the Illuminati is trying to engineer you know you know they're trying to go to war with Iran again you know the whole Israel conflict you know um, you know the stuff they put in the news you know like this swine flu you know about these terror cells here and there you know in Washington DC etc um, don't get distracted by the things of this world but rather have the peace and heart and knowledge of Christ in you and uh, I try to make videos exposing the, the truth because uh, <clears throat> that's what the people need is the truth and Christ the ultimate truth but uh, this is a great uh, letter to let Christ at all times be the beacon in your heart I still believe we can escape these things to come is written up in Revelation 3.10 to the letter of the Church of Philadelphia. And then the seals will be cracked open. 144,000 tribulations. The two witnesses of Elijah and Enoch. You know, the first three years, you know, a peace agreement, agreement will be made. Then after the final three year, the uh, final three and a half years, the Antichrist will demand worship. And the mark of the beast. And I mean, they're already doing it. I've seen... Uh, seen advertisements like health info you know you know such corporations as Verichip, Digital Angel and Soulmark Innovations, RFID scannable technology and stuff you know the one world government has all of its plans but uh, you know it's pretty much I don't like to bash any groups such as gays, homosexuals uh, you know uh, atheists etc you know I just like uh, tell them the truth as it is is written by uh, by Jesus because you know we have all sinned and we've all found uh, short of his glory and you know and we must repent and come to that because you know there's, without Jesus there's no hope in a broken world and uh, so to put that out there but here's what I wrote to this sister I put bless you sister I said sad but true this is true religion and traditions of this world is what has divided our people for so long also the love of money and greed of going to have this and that when you don't need it know what is amazing that there are so many people that don't even realize that they are now currently set free by the bondages of sins of sorcerers of this world but rather the ones who do not notice continue to argue instead of nothing is what amazes me they continue to fight and be broken and live brokenly into captivity however there are people like me who are in captivity who continue to live in peace and love however I feel people like us continue living peaceful because we don't get too greedy or over our heads, but instead we hang on to what we have, are able to put food on our tables, and have adequate clothing for our families as well. And as a result of all this, are able to spend more quality time with our families, moms, dads, brothers, sisters, friends, and loved ones, etc. But most importantly, some of us put all of our heart, mind, soul, and trust into the Most High Jesus Christ and could not do it without him and ultimate faith and testing he brings to us I believe though unlike some that we can escape what is to come upon the whole world through in Revelation 3 10 to the letter of the Church of Philadelphia for however many few true Christians in the world that may be I do believe however during the tribulation is when you will see the start uh, to see the, the true lordship of Israel under Jesus Christ set up for a thousand years then eventually at the end of the seven years and thousand years to reign forever and ever. I believe that the 144,000 are the true children of the nation of Israel who are dark-skinned people from the tribes scattered throughout the world who will lead many people to Christ during the tribulation. They are some of the toughest spirited people in the world who have great spiritual instincts along with fantastic Bible knowledges and survival skills the Lord has blessed them with. I consider them really good friends and, I, and they have helped me a ton also in finding Christ as well. Check the GLC of 144 here on YouTube for who they are. I believe Christ will protect these men um, along with how many true followers who will repent and turn to Jesus during the seven year tribulation period. Gentile and Jews alike. Unlike how some religious cults teach that there is no hope, I believe though that there is a pre-tribulation rapture though for those who do what Jesus says, follow the Holy Spirit and do the Lord's will on earth as it is in heaven, don't follow or get distracted by the things of this world. You know, you know, they pay attention to what's going on, you know, they have insight that we're living in the end times, they expose it for what it is, they take up their cross daily, they sleep, they fast, they pray, they keep God's laws. Um, they try to repent of sin or whatever that, 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 that may be that they still got in their lives. I believe this because there are so many meek and poor folks like myself who if it were not for Jesus providing just enough to protect us, 
that there would be no hope without his protection whatsoever. Um, I'm going to take a pause and I'm going to lead the second half of this letter. This is part two of the letter continued from uh, my last email. Um, also, too, I believe we can skip this. The fact that you have such groups backed by the UN, like shareintel.com, backed by Benjamin Krem, who believe in bringing the Antichrist to the world stage. Plus, the movies Hollywood has put out, like Indiana Jones, Alien movies, the Balloon Boy story that CNN just had a few days ago, shaped like UFO, UFO shaped clouds, Star Trek, Race to Wish Mountain, and movies like Wanted, where they say promote, like, Kill 10,000, save a million, kill, kill a million, save a billion. No rhetoric that, that they used to use, just like in Nazi Germany. But I wanted to say also, and no, I do not believe Obama is the Antichrist, but I think rather he was put there to distract the two children of the nation of Israel and to bring about the policies of the UN, the corporate America, and Antichrist onto the world stage. Also, he is from the tribe of Ham, which is not even on one of the lost tribes of Israel in Revelation, but in fact his wife Michelle is a real Israelite, however. That is how the Illuminati and satanic powers that be run this earth pretty much is what I have learned throughout my research on Blog Talk Radio and throughout the internet. They always try to deceive everybody, Gentiles and Jews alike. I think knowledge of the Bible is really important. However, I think ultimately calling on the Lord, living in peace and love, doing the Lord's work on earth as it is in heaven, exposing the truth, and letting the Holy Spirit guide you is what matters the most, bearing fruit like this message. And turning from our sins and repenting back to the Lord is what true faith in Christ is all about. I am also not afraid to die for Christ also if faced with the challenge. Because after all, He died for our sins also so that we may have everlasting life if we call upon Him. Also, some good shows to listen to on Blog Talk Radio if you ever get the chance is Gathering of Christ Church, Satan'sRapture.com, and Warren Radio. They all are fantastic, but most of all, why they have great opinions and Bible knowledge, we must follow Christ and let Him guide us through His Holy Spirit and what we do in life. Anyway, Jesus bless you and may this most high be with you and your family at all times. I do believe we can escape what is to come. Also, the internet is great because it can be used throughout the world to get the whole truth of the Bible out and to the people who maybe never knew the truth of the Most High and because it can expose all the wickedness of this world. Anyways, bless you, sister, your brother in Christ, Stephen. Now, I just wanted to say, though, um, that I truly believe, though, that we can escape this. I mean, I've seen so many sites, you know, exposing, you know, the pyramid, the dollar bill, you know. The United Nations, you know, the uh, EU Trilateral Commission, Rothschilds, Rockefellers, the 13 bloodlines, all that stuff. You know, you, not that you need to know all that, but um, I believe, like the Bible says, you know, whoever shall call upon the Lord and, and do His will, will on earth as it is in heaven shall also uh, escape. And even though you have weakness and have sinned in the past, um, him who does not deny his name shall also be saved too. And uh, he who holds the key to the Star of David... Um, also, the ones who say they are Jews or not Jews, which I believe the ones running most of Hollywood, are the ones too uh, that God was talking about. You know, they're 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 the liars in the earth. Those are the ones who uh, will will not be saved, but are of the synagogue of Satan. Um, because you know, <clears throat> for all the histories, you have like the Middle Ages. You know, I heard this before. You know, King James. I think he was a black man. I have no doubt. You know, the Dark Ages, the best hidden secret that they've kept from the people throughout time. And uh, another thing, too, I wanted to point out is the fact that you had the Protestant Reformation. And there's always been this thing within the church. I watched uh, Angels and Demons, where, you know, the Illuminati, where, you know, some groups claim, you know, that they don't think that there's a, uh, a rapture. Why other groups claim that there is a rapture. And they fight over it constantly. But I actually think there's two. There's a pre and a post. So um, that's good hope for all Christians and believers, and like Gentiles and Israelites, because there's some people who just don't have... Um, enough resources and enough money, but God just provides enough for them to basically get by on an earth, and they're meek and they humble and they humble themselves uh, to Jesus at all time. Pray, sleep, fast, and do the Lord's will on earth as it is in heaven, and expose the truth. So, um, and personally, quite frankly, though, <clears throat> if it wasn't for Christ, I don't know where I'd be. I'd probably be homeless. You know, I, I live with my dad, but um. I'm just exposing the truth who basically uh, provides for me just about everything. I mean, you know, um, it's God, though, ultimately, who uh, protects you and your family. And uh, my, even though my parents are divorced, I still love my family very much. But uh, until next time, may uh, Jesus bless you. Uh, 
with all of his grace and glory. And uh, times are growing short, folks. Um, I urge you all strongly to repent because there isn't much time left. So uh, Jesus bless you. Bye.